Hello guys, welcome back to another video from the eInnovators. The project on which we are working today is one of the most useful projects in my opinion. By the end of this video, you will be able to make a homemade water cooler with the help of a Peltier sensor. So stay till the end. Before starting the video, I would request you guys to hit the subscribe button to watch our latest uploads as soon as possible. Let's get started. For the circuit building, we will need a Peltier sensor. It is used to make something cold. On this side, you can find its model number written. And it is also the cooler side of the sensor. And the opposite side is the hottest side of the sensor. A heatsink compound HY510 is used for the heat conduction. A 12 volts DC motor. A heat sink nozzle, a 12 volts adapter with 1.5 ampere, a W1209 module with the temperature sensor, This is a heat sink. DC fan and the Peltier sensor are combined with the help of a heat sink material. On the bottom from where the heat is released. We adjust the DC fan on the top of the heat sink. From where the heat is absorbed is the hotter side of the Peltier sensor. And on the cooler side of the Peltier sensor, a nozzle is connected from where the water flows from the tank to the nozzle. After that, we connect the DC fan. DC motor and the temperature module are connected in parallel with the help of a DC jack. Furthermore, we connect the negative of the DC fan and the DC motor is connected with the pin of the DC jack and vice versa. This is a W1209 module with a temperature sensor. It has three buttons, set, plus and minus, and has four connectors, ground, 12 volts, K1 normally open and K2 common. In the circuit, we cannot use K1 and K0 because they are used for the AC supply and used to maintain the temperature. We connect the negative of the DC jack to the ground connector of the temperature sensor and the positive of the DC jack is connected to the 12 volts connector of the temperature sensor. Lastly, we need to connect the pipes with the 8 volts DC motor. Join one end of the pipe to the DC motor and the other end of the pipe to the nozzle. Join another pipe with the second point of the nozzle. 
Now we are using a cooker as the container due to lack of equipment. We place our motor inside the container. The water inside the container is at room temperature. The pipe coming from the second point of the nozzle carrying the cold water. You can place it in another container. However, we are placing it inside the same container. And we have also placed a temperature sensor from the module, which detects the drop or the rise of the water temperature. Now join the 12 volts adapter to the DC jack. And after plugging in the adapter, a circuit will start working. Our temperature module detects water at room temperature, which is at 32.9 to 33 degrees Celsius. You can observe the temperature dropping to 0.1 degrees. Now you can observe the temperature dropping at a steady rate initially moving from 32.4 degrees Celsius to 32.2 degrees Celsius to 31.7 degrees Celsius. If we keep the container inside the thermopile and place a lid on the top, the temperature would be affected more efficiently. As you can see now, it drops down to 22.5 degrees Celsius and finally at a lightning rate to 18.7 degrees Celsius. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and also subscribe the channel to watch our latest uploads as soon as possible. Also join us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. The links are in the description below. See you guys in the next video shortly. Bye bye, stay safe, peace out.